In today's video, we're going to be looking at the brand new social media platform, Threads. Now, Threads is by Meta, the same company behind Instagram and Facebook. And Threads is all about communicating with text, short snippets of text. And also, they are using some of that same infrastructure. So there's a fairly large user base ready to go, jump in and dive onto this platform. So let's have a look at Threads. Now, the first thing is where can we find threads? Well, threads can be easily downloaded from iTunes or the Play Store. So if you have access to those, you can simply search for threads. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to open up the Play Store and then here in the Play Store, what you will find is at the top, you can search for this. So let's go ahead and search for threads. And then here you will see threads and Instagram app. Now, I've already got this installed on my device, but this is where you would now install this. Once you've installed, you're going to log in and create your account. Now, this is important to note, it is connected to Instagram. And so you have the need for an Instagram account in order to use threads. That is because it's using some of the same technology behind the scenes. In other words, if you already have an Instagram account, then you already have a threads account. Also, once you start using threads, you cannot delete your Threads account without deleting your Instagram. So they are connected together. Now here, I'm going to go ahead and open the application. Now, when you open the application, what you will see is your home screen. So here you can see I'm on my home screen and my home screen is showing me a feed of various people I'm already following. It's also going to show me some suggested posts based on the Threads algorithm. Now, let's say that I scroll down and I find a post that I quite like. For example, this one here by Shapegrams. I now have a number of options. Here at the bottom, I can like this post. I can choose to repost this. So when I click on this, I can repost it or even quote and add my own commentary to this. Or I can click on the send and share button. Now, this will allow me to add it to my own Instagram story. It will allow me to tweet this out using Twitter, or I can copy the link and share it to any other platform I want. I can also share it via, and then I'm going to get that familiar screen of all the other applications installed. We can also add to this conversation. So when I click on the thread icon, I can now reply to this message. And you will see from the little line here on the left-hand side, this is where you are now threading things together. You are adding to that conversation. And that is how thread will work. We can add our message here. We can even add an attachment, which will be an image. So it goes into our gallery and we can add an image as a response. In addition to replying or responding to other people's messages, I can choose to follow that user. Now, what I really like about the way this happens on threads is that here on this message, this is someone who I'm following has reposted this. I'm not yet following Shapegrams and I can see that by this plus icon. I can simply click on this and choose to follow that person. I'm now following that person on my own feed. I can also search for users. So here at the bottom, when I go to search, I can go and find users that I may be interested in. So for example, here I did a recent search for National Geographic Let's go ahead and search for National Geographic one more time. And I can then click and open up that profile. This profile, I can scroll down, preview everything. I can see their threads and I can also see their replies. These are the replies that they've left to other people. As you can see, we can switch between the two. If I now choose to follow that person, I can click on this follow button right here. Once you follow someone, you may or may not get notified of all their new posts. Now, if that's something that you would like to see happening, then you can go here to the top and click on this bell icon. That will make sure that you get post notifications. So whenever they post, you'll get notified of that. We can also click on the three dots in the top right corner, and this gives us a number of additional options. We can share this profile with someone else, or we can copy the link to this profile. Now, if for any reason you have come across someone and it is a person that you do not necessarily want to be associated with, or they've left some harmful comments, or they've just not been the nicest people out there, then you also have the option to mute, restrict, block, or report that profile. 
These options are available from the profile pages. Now let's go back to our own profile. So we can here at the bottom go to our own profile and it's here on the right hand side. And this is where we can now add information to our own profile. You can see we can edit our profile or we can share our profile. And again, we see our threads and we see the replies we've left on other people's threads. I'm going to go and click on edit profile. Now under edit profile, I can add a number of things. I can add my bio, but I cannot change my name. You can see here, there's a little lock icon and that's because this is tied together to Instagram. Instagram is where you change your name. That's where it all changes and then it automatically changes on threads. We can also add in a link and we can make our profile private. So these are just a number of options. In addition to that, we have additional options by going to the top right corner where you see those two little lines here. And these are more options or settings. In here, we can choose how to follow or invite friends. We can pull these all in from Instagram. We can change our notification settings so you can see I can pause all notifications or I can choose which threads and replies I get notified of and following and followers if I get notified of these as well. We can also change our privacy settings and under account, this is one I really like, we can choose to take a break. Now that means that threads is automatically going to remind us after say 10, 20, 30 minutes to take a break from social media. I have it set to never because I'm not going to take a break right now. I'm just going to keep exploring the platform. And then finally, you can also easily open up your Instagram by clicking on the following icon here, which will link out to your Instagram account. Now, let's say you want to start a thread and you want to write your own. Well, here at the bottom, you will see we can write a new thread. We can write up to 500 characters and we can even upload a video up to five minutes in length. So here, let's go ahead and say, having great fun exploring the Threads app for a video. There we go. And we can also add in an attachment or an image. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on this attachment icon and we're going to add in, let's say the following image. Let's click on done. Now, what I really like about the way they present images, if your image is a vertical image, you'll see the full image. If your image is a wide image, you'll again see that full image. Some other social media platforms tend to cut that off. Threads at the moment is showing you that full image, which looks very professional. You can then also choose to change who can reply to this post. So here at the bottom, I can choose anyone can reply to this only profiles I follow or mentioned only. So if you're mentioning people in your post, then they can respond to that. Other people cannot reply to it. I'm going to leave it open. I'm going to just make sure everything is ready to go and then post this. And there we go. We can now see that that has been posted on my profile. Now let's scroll down and show you an example of that longer form. So this is what I meant with the vertical form. You can see that it still presents it in a vertical format as you're scrolling through your profile. Now, once you've posted, you can still change some of those settings. So you can go here to the three dots. I can now change who can reply or I can hide the like count, which I'm not going to do at the moment. I'm just going to leave it as it is. You can always go to the bottom to see those little heart or likes. And these are your activity notifications. These are all the people that have started following you. These are the replies that you've had, the mentions, or the verified people. So you can see all of that activity in this menu at the bottom. So this is Threads. If you would like to explore Threads and follow me, I'll leave a link in that description below. It's a new social media platform tied together with Instagram, but a lot of fun to explore. And there are already hundreds, if not thousands of educators on there, ready to share ideas, lesson plans, and more. So let me know who you are following on threads, leave it in that comment section below, and I will look forward to meeting you on there. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.